I guess I've, I've kind of struggled with weight all my life. Um, when I was pregnant with my two kids, uh, they're now 20 and 22. <laughs> I had just gestational diabetes. And I was like, what is this? But um, my dad ended up having diabetes uh, later in, in like his 60s. And uh, he died at 72 from complications. Uh, they had given him an overdose in the hospital of insulin. And he went into a diabetic coma for a week. Uh, we did get him out of it, but um, like he didn't know where he was, who we were. He was very belligerent, very, uh, it was just very hard to see. Um, like I said, we did get him out of it, but there was only about six more months of life left in him. And then he just, that was it. So it was very, very difficult. <laughs> and uh, we couldn't really do anything about it. They were like, well, it was an accident. They gave him 26 units of insulin and his blood sugars were six. So overdose, he got no oxygen to the brain and, you know, that just did him in. So it was very, very sad. And then when I had gestational diabetes, I was like, oh, no. And then they said, well, chances of you getting diabetes later in life are up because of this. And I was like, oh, great. And then sure enough, in my 40s, um, they said, yeah, your sugars are high, girl. <laughs> you need to be on metformin. And I, oh, I just absolutely hated it. It was horrible for me. Um, gave me stomach aches, uh, running to the bathroom. You know, I was just like, I can't live like this. I don't want to live like this. So I went to see my, my doctor sent me to the best, um, youngest, um, uh, diabetic doctor I can't think of the name now <laughs> but uh he he was young he was good he had a quite an accent uh, I don't know Russian or something and um his premise was medication 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 get your sugars down and I'm like I'm trying and I was you know trying to eat well and what I thought was well was you know <laughs> now I know because of this system which was awesome um, but we just butted heads and he told me either you take the medication or don't bother coming to see me anymore. I was like, what? <laughs> Can you do that? But then I stepped back and went, fantastic. I don't have to go and listen to him. So I didn't go see him and I was trying my darndest to, um, eat better and do better for myself. Um, I did get something from a girl at work. Her, her brother was given a rest, uh, not a recipe, but a, a diet to follow. And I was like, okay, here's something. So I tried to follow that. And um, oh yeah, I was sent to diabetic education with a, a nurse, a dietitian, and their rules were 45 grams of carbs a day. <laughs> so I was like, I'm following everything and nothing's working. And I tried to get exercise in like crazy, signed up for a lot of classes. And I was just like, okay, all this sweat, all this effort and nothing's working. I, I guess I'm just doomed. So um, what really hit home for me was... Um, I lost the sight in my left eye from diabetic retinopathy. And, oh, I just cried. I just remember crying and crying and crying for days going, I'm going blind. It's coming true. Because I never believed that diabetic doctor. He says, you're going to lose your sight. You're going to have kidney failure. You're going to have neuropathy. You could cut your legs off and blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all the worst stuff. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. And uh, sure enough, okay, the eye went, oh boy. So then we were doing everything to save the other eye, which is still have, thank goodness. Um, and I'm getting the shots every, it depends, four weeks or eight, up to eight weeks, depends on how my, like they take a picture of your eye mm. and they see if there's fluid behind there and then they recommend six weeks next week or eight weeks next week. So since I've been on this and when I went he said oh my eye doctor you're improving 
I'm like, oh, that's fantastic news. What does that mean? Like, and he says, well, the fluid in the back of your good eye has diminished substantially. And I'm like, awesome, awesome. He says, you must notice that you're seeing better. And I'm like, yeah, I guess kind of, but I'm taking it all in little strides. I'm not going, yes, 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 this is fantastic. I'm going, okay, this is good. Like cautiously, right? And uh, I said, would I ever get the sight back in my bad eye? <laughs> and he said, mm, not sure. Um, you could have damaged your eye nerves severely and maybe not. But every time we test and the, the girls are good, she goes, okay, cover your good eye. I'm like, yeah, like I need to do that. <laughs> but we test every time. And so far, nothing, but uh, I'm still so thankful to have at least one eye because I was getting a chiro uh, cataract in that eye mm. and then I was all blurry and I was like oh I can't see the clock I can't see the microwave the stove everything was blurry and I was <gasps> for a couple of months I thought this is what it's like to be blind oh my gosh <laughs> and I was like no I don't want to live like this so I I got in cataract surgery is like a two-year wait and I got in on a cancellation. So someone up there is like, you know, for me, I think it's my dad. <laughs> and uh, I got in, got the cataract surgery. They, they put in a lens so that you see even better. And I was wow. like, oh, this is fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a religious person as well. Like you go to church and I thank the Lord every day for my eyesight to have it back. Amazing. Wow. So. Um, I, you know what? I can't honestly remember how I stumbled across this, but I was online somewhere. And when I heard you can reverse diabetes in a month, I was like, oh, what? Really? No. And then it was like, okay, I got to find out about this. I got to see what they're saying. Right. And I was sort of not believing it in a way, because I'm like, come on. How many diabetics are there in this world? If there was something out there, wouldn't everybody just follow it and not be a diabetic anymore? <laughs> so that was my reasoning. And uh, I, I came across it. Lots of reading, I do have to admit. Uh, I did download it. So I'm on my iPad. My eyes were going buggy after a few days of reading and reading and reading. And then by the end of it, I was like, okay, so don't eat this. And um, do eat this and go to bed by you know 10 and don't eat by six and you know I, I kind of jotted down a few things and I went that's it that can't be it so I sort of started it and then I was like I don't know there's gotta be more there's gotta be more so then <laughs> I, uh, I saw the master class thing and I was like oh, this says step by step. If you follow this, there's no, you know, deviating. There's no, like, for sure, this is guaranteed. And I was like, okay, I got to get that. So I, in a sense, bought both. I bought two. I bought the first, and then I bought the second masterclass, which was the same information, just with some videos, right? But after watching those videos, I jotted down my own notes, and I typed up a page, and I said, if I follow this, it should do me well. So after a week, um, I was losing two pounds a day. And I was going, this is unbelievable. I've never, ever, it took me a week to lose two pounds, man. And that was hard work, exercise, sweat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is, this is unbelievable. So um, I have an older sister and she used to be on Atkins. She lost a lot of weight on Atkins, but she couldn't continue that for life. So once she got off of it, she gave it back. And uh, we've been doing Zumba together. We've been trying our darndest and any of those secrets we find, we're sharing with each other. So of course I phoned her up right away and I was like, okay, I found this. And you think, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but it's working. It's working for me. I lost 12 pounds, whatever. After two weeks, I lost 20 pounds. And she's like, no. No, you did not. You're lying. I'm like, no, I'm not lying. <laughs> I was jumping for joy. Every morning I stood on the scale and I was like, what? 
I had to stand on the scale three times to make sure that it was the, the right weight. And so I started documenting it and I have it on like a little notepad like this. So I have Monday to Sunday, I have two weeks at a time on there. And my blood sugars went from 10, okay, out of Canada, right? So 10, uh, they went down to six. And I was like, okay, my blood sugar's so low, my weight is dropping like amazing. I was also on water pills because I retain water. My kidneys function is very low right now. They're, they're thinking transplant or dialysis. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I've, I've researched it. I went for some education on it. And I was just in tears when I came home. I'm like, I don't want to sit hooked up to a machine. I, you know, to me, that's hours of your life. <laughs> So I know I'm getting emotional. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's great. I, you're, I'm emotional about it too. So keep going. <laughs> this is good. Because this is just amazing. I have to have to say, um, and I can follow it. Uh, the, the, when I was reading it and it said, pick five foods that you know are good for you. You know, that step. And I was like, okay, chicken, salad. You know, I was picking good foods. And yeah, those are my fallbacks. When I go in the kitchen and, and I'm hungry, typically I'd go in the cupboard that has junk <laughs> and go, ah, I'll just have one of these cup of soups. Oh, so bad for you. Or, you know, the noodle yeah. things. And uh, so I don't do those anymore, but I'll go for celery or I'll go for, uh, do you know what um, jalapeno poppers are? Oh, yes with the cream cheese and the bacon wrap. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I could have those. I could have those on this diet. Oh I, my God. I know so, they're so good. Uh, I'm not a, a big spicy person. So mm. we do it with regular little, little peppers. So the red, the green, the, the orange, the yellow. Yeah, and let's have. I put, I put cream cheese in there and then the turmeric is, is great. Or the thyme, um, the egg with the bacon and the thyme and the cream cheese, fantastic. Um, just all those little recipes gave me a new life on what to eat and how to cook. So and good. So a month and I'm still down my 20 pounds. What ended up happening after the third week is I woke up feeling horrible. I couldn't get up. My head was dizzy. My legs felt weak. And I was like, oh my gosh. My husband's like, are you okay? What's going on? Maybe, maybe you know, you lost too much weight. I'm like, I mean, I feel good that way. I can move around. This is fantastic. I don't know if that's it. But um, I checked my blood pressure and it was low. <laughs> I'm on blood pressure meds. And I've never been low, ever, ever, for a long, 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 long time. And so I was like, I have low blood pressure. This is what low blood pressure feels like. <laughs> so I didn't take my meds that day. And the next morning, the same thing. Like by the afternoon, I felt better. And the next morning I woke up, same thing. I felt woozy and dizzy and weak. And so I called my doctors at the kidney clinic that I belong to. And I said, Kay, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I've been doing. I feel fantastic weight-wise, sugar-wise, blood sugar-wise, but my blood pressure is low now. I said, is this a good thing? And they're like, oh, that's pretty low. What were they this morning? So I told them what it was, you know, I, I've documented. So they said, yeah. I said, so I'm stopping taking the meds for the past two days. Is that okay? Because I don't want to just be like, oh, she's not following her medication routine. They can find out if you renew your meds at the pharmacy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so you can't be bad. You can't not take your meds and not reorder them and not be found out. So um, she said, let me talk to the doctor and I'll call you back. So uh, it was a day went by and I didn't take the meds and the, the next day she phones or another nurse phoned just hang on I'm gonna grab the Kleenex <laughs> yeah sure another nurse phones me back and she said how are you better 
still low blood pressure. Well, what have you been doing? So I told her I'm on this detox. Oh, kind of wasn't like she didn't frown upon it, but it wasn't like, great. Good for you. Which is what I wanted. I wanted to hear that. And uh, I didn't get that, of course, but uh, the medical system here is just all about the meds. And uh, which is very sad, but I said, I feel great. My sugars are down and now even my blood pressure is down. So to me, that's a good thing. Is it not? Like I wanted to hear them say it. (laughs) And uh, she said, it is. And I spoke with the doctor. So she said, okay, so you're not going to take amlodipine anymore, but monitor. I said, yeah, no problem. I'm doing it every day. I have a monitor at home and, uh, so if I feel that I'm like, it's going up, then do you think I should take it? She goes, well, call us first and we'll discuss how much you should be taking and blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. And uh, I said, also the water pills, like my legs, <laughs> I'm like, woohoo, <laughs> I can wear mini scoot. <laughs> I've always had water retention from my knee to my thigh. And now I can put my both hands around my thigh and touch my thumbs and my finger. And I was like, oh my gosh. Even my daughter and my, my husband are like, look at your legs. Look at your legs. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so I was jumping for joy. I've been on a high for a good month, month and a half now. Yeah. So the system works. It's fantastic. It's not hard to follow. I haven't even added exercise, to be honest. Um, I, I love the, the exercise with Mariah. Yes. I've, I've looked at those and I'm like, I could do that. I could do that. But I just don't have the motivation to do it yet. <laughs> but it's coming winter. We have a dump of snow and I can't be outside anymore. Yeah. So like when I'm outside gardening or doing stuff, I feel that's my exercise. Yes. That's good. yes. I also have a kidney fit workout twice a week, which is mostly resistance training. So we do weights. We do warm up uh, weights and then cool down, which is a great hour twice a week. But I always said, hey, I'm going to add another day or another day. another, And I haven't yet. Sure. So just wait till I add that on top of what I'm doing. And I think it'll just be even better. So good things to look forward to. Um, I'm so happy about knowing the right things to do right now.